In this clip, we are going to create a basic REST service to get the business partner account balance using the HTTP call. Let's create a new scenario step. HTTP call. And afterwards, we can define the inbound outbound adapter type, which is the first icon. And uh, we can move it here. By using the double click, we will specify here the adapter type is HTTP and no authentication. Afterwards, we can put here the adapter call for service layer. Using the double click, we are selecting the adapter type to service layer. Then we can specify uh, the connection properties. This will be get from the SLD. We are using there the get method and the object identifier would be business partners. Yeah, business partners. Key, for the key, we will use uh, expat statement where we are going to get it directly from the URL parameter. We can close it. And now it's time to adhere a new transformation, which will be the X for the, res uh, the response for web service call. Then we can call it response XSL. We can close it and we can open the source. In the source, we will specify our code and uh, we will simply use response and our code is here. Let's do the pretty print and we can save it. Now it's time to finalize the lines. For example, for, from the last XSLT, we will move to the, to the end adapter. We can use the pretty print and or scenario is ready. Now it's time to deploy it. It can be done in deployment panel. We would add a new deployment. We can call it also HTTP call. And where we are selecting the specific scenario step, we can also activate the date logging. And at the end, we can just simply activate the scenario step by using this deployment click. Now it's time to trigger. In order to get the URL uh, for the call, we will use this specific URL. Once the URL is copied, we can paste it to the new tab on, in our browser and we can specify there the URL parameter BP code and the, what, some specific value. Let's try to execute and see the results. We get it immediately card code and current account balance, but we can also check it in the monitoring part as well. We can see here the inbound message where the URL parameter is located and also the outbound message. We, we are able to also go to the debug and debug step by step what happened there.